Hello, everyone. Welcome to my talk on multi-class grammatical detection for correction. A tale of two systems. My name is Zhong Yuan, and this is joint work with my amazing colleagues Shiva Tasmilipu, Chris Davis, and Christopher Bryant from the Alta Institute, University of Cambridge. Let's first look at the task. What is grammatical error detection and correction? Grammatical error detection is the task of predicting whether a word is correct or incorrect in context. Grammatical error correction is then to not only detect the incorrect usage but also to suggest a correction. As we can see in this learning example, yesterday. I spent quite a long time for shopping. A GD system should be able to identify any incorrect usage of the word like "spent," "long," and "for" in this sentence. While a GC system is supposed to also propose corrections, the verb "spent" should be used in its past tense form. A determiner is missing, and the preposition "for." Is not needed here. Finally, we have the corrected sentence. Yesterday, I spent quite a long time shopping. Both GED and GEC are very important practical applications with high educational and commercial value. Until now, a reduction has mainly been treated as a binary task. Which is limited in terms of the specific error type information it can provide to downstream tasks like GEC. Therefore, we propose multi-class GED. We extend binary detection to four-class, twenty-five-class, and fifty-five-class error detection using different error type textsets derived from the errant framework. Following previous work, we treat error detection as a sequence labeling or token classification task, and assign a label to each token in the input sentence, indicating whether it is correct or incorrect, or which error type it belongs to. We employ three state-of-the-art pre-trained language representation models: BERT, XLNet, and Electra. Although different in their pre-training architectures, they are all transformer-based models. On top of which, we add a linear classification layer. We fine-tune these models or annotate the learned data for a small number of epochs. We report token level F zero point five for detecting incorrect labels. We first compare our models with the previous work. In a binary setting on three different benchmarks, BEA covers the full range of L1s and ability levels. FCE contains the upper intermediate learning English, and CONO focuses on undergraduate students from an Asian language background. We can see that all our GED models outperform previous systems. By large margins, we obtain a new state of the art using Electra, an extension of Bird with a different pre-training task, a discriminator which aims to detect replaced tokens. We believe Electra's objective to discriminate between plausible and non-plausible word tokens makes it more closely related to error detection. We then use Electra for multi-class GED. Here, we look at both binarized and macro-averaged F zero point five. For binarized F zero point five, we calculate the score for detecting any non-C labels, any non-correct labels, regardless of class or error type. For macro-averaged F zero point five. We simply average the scores across all classes. As expected, we see lower macro-averaged scores for multi-class classification 
when there are a higher number of classes. We believe this is due to the sparsity of the labels when we add more error types. It is interesting to note, however, adding more error types does not significantly affect the performance of the models in terms of binarized detection. This may suggest that all systems are capable of detecting roughly the same number of errors, despite the number of classes, and generally struggle only with the class labels themselves. After building state-of-the-art error detection models, how can we use them for correction? Here, we look at two different ways of using GED to inform GEC. For the baseline GEC system, we use the transformer-based sequence-to-sequence model. We treat error correction as a monolingual machine translation task from incorrect to correct English. First, we employ a multi-encoder GEC system that takes additional GED predictions as input. Second, we use GED predictions for MBAS list re-ranking. In order to incorporate GED information, we introduce multi-encoder GC. An additional encoder is introduced to process an auxiliary GED input. The decoder now contains a new GED multi-head attention that attends directly to the GED encoder representation. Afterwards, a linear interpolation with gating is applied. Here are our results on the BEA data. We can see that adding GED predictions yields a consistent improvement over the baseline, which is a standard encoder-decoder GEC system. Our best system uses the four-class GED predictions. We suspect that it is because the four-class GED represents the best compromise between label informativeness and model reliability. To better understand our model's capability, we estimate an upper bound by using gold detection labels. Results show that the maximum attainable score is achieved by the 55-class Oracle GED. This suggests that multi-class GED provides GEC with new information. The main bottleneck in a practical system is the reliability of the GED predictions. And we expect further performance gains with better detection systems. The GEC system generates different candidates and outputs the one with the highest confidence score. However, it may not be the best correction. Therefore, we decide to take advantage of the MBAS list and employ a re-ranking approach using GED outputs. We first generate a 10 best list of candidates for each sentence. Then, align each candidate with the source sentence using errant to extract the edits. Finally, convert the edit spans to token-based detection labels. We re-rank the candidates based on the minimum Hamming distance, which ensures the maximum overlap between both GED and GEC systems. It is also worth mentioning that we do not use any other features. So our simple re-ranking method can also be applied to any number of hypotheses from multiple systems. As before, we perform re-ranking using both GED predictions and Oracle labels. Interestingly, there is a gradual increase in performance and the best re-ranking model uses 55-class GED. However, the performance boost is still far from what the model can achieve using Oracle. This suggests that having more accurate GED models is essential and that more fine-grained error types can be effectively incorporated into GEC. In our final experiment, we combine both methods and compare our GEC systems with other systems in two different settings. 
in the constraint setting, all systems only use public data released in the BA 2019 shared task. Our system outperforms all other comparable systems, with the largest gains coming from re-ranking. In the unconstrained setting, which includes systems trained on additional private or artificial data, our system outperforms all other previous work that combines GED and GEC and achieves a new single model, an MT-based, state-of-the-art on BEA test. In this work, we demonstrate the advantages of using multi-class detection into correction. We employ a multi-encoder GEC model and presented two methods of integrating GED predictions into GC systems. Firstly, during GEC fine-tuning, and secondly, as a post-processing re-ranking step. We achieve new state-of-the-art results in both GED and GEC tasks. Finally, our ECO experiments reveal that our proposed GEC systems are very effective at incorporating new GED information. But there are still significant gains to be made in terms of more accurate GED systems. That is the end of my talk. I hope you enjoy it and thank you so much.